Hey friends, I'm back with another video, and this is going to be Ginger Fist trying to fist tailoring. Sort of. Well, it's going to be Ginger Fist trying to make her own human cultural armor. Now, she's already managed to make some human cultural, which was the intricate, sagacious, whatever the hell, uh, gloves, which weren't bad. They had a 20 to attack and a plus two to hit point regen so we're gonna try to do the one that's one step above this so we're gonna open up our tailoring kit we're gonna type in elaborate and we're gonna see here what we can make what we can craft as you see you need a 300 plus skill to make this stuff which kind of sucks like really really sucks but we're gonna try to do it and as you see it could be used by druid or or monk of the human race right and the stats don't look great but you do get to make augments that fit in there that help the stats quite a bit and i don't think i'm going to be making the wrist ones because i have this really nice uh jewelry on the wrist so we're going to start off with the gloves so first i'm going to need the leather glove pattern and if you're wondering what these other materials are we're going to be using superb animal pelts and tonican sewing needle and and tonican artisan materials and if you're wondering where you get the artisan materials it's from this guy right up here it's uh culturalist uh davari okay it's the draken right upstairs on the second floor of the small bank and he sells the antonican sewing needle and the antonican artisan materials the only thing i had to craft myself was the antonican sewing kit so let's buy the sleeves pattern it's the leather sleeves template we don't want the shoulder pads we do want the skull cap we want the leggings we don't want the gorget we only want the parts that will appear on you and the boots so here we go so we got the the recipe for the gloves let's hope it succeeds we created the gloves successfully where are they there they are so we got the gloves let's see if we uh can manage to do the next one then we need the um the helm next we're making the helmet and we failed so let's try to buy another skull cap template and try again so we got the helmet i might need to buy more materials because my artisan crafting materials are starting to get depleted by failure the boots we failed with the boots once and we need a new template for the boots so let's buy another template all right succeeded with the boots gonna try with the sleeves succeeded making sleeves now greaves we've made the greaves successfully and the tunic where is the template for the tunic there it is all right and we made it we succeeded making the tunic and we still had one thing of materials left as you'll see uh we've only got six pieces but that's because we're not making the two wrists we've already got really nice wristbands that i'm very happy with so i would say that's a success again that's uh crafting cultural armor now the only thing left to do is to make and craft the augments that go in here and to do that i'm gonna cheat i don't have to make the augments with a human i can make the augments with any race and for that of course i'm gonna choose fez because he's already got a 300 uh, plus in smithing because of his trophy so fez is gonna make the augments and the augments will be going in slot number two for type 11 where you see it says crafted slot number set lot number one here type 7 that is basically the general uh, augments any augments that drop mostly off monsters off regular encounters and stuff those are dropped that way and then there's the elusive type 12 in slot 3 the crafted raid I have no idea how those are made I don't know if I'll ever figure it out I think they require drops off of raid mobs and I'm not a raiding kind of guy so unfortunately I may never ever have a raid aug on any of my guys. I would assume that they would be phenomenal and that they would make cultural completely insane compared to crappy defiant. So when making augs for yourself for any kind of armor you want to make sure that you check your deity. And my deity is agnostic. This is 
super important because if you have an aug that's for the wrong deity you won't be able to equip it you won't be able to put it in your armor or if you do you won't be able to wear that armor and get benefits from it so you for sure want to have the right kind of deity in your augment it's basically that's all dependent on what kind of blessed water you use and i would use blessed water of the skeptic to find out what aug i want to use I just typed in glove symbol of the S, short, you know, for skeptic, and I think it's going to be this one here, 65 to 69, and yes, it does look like it's going to be the 65 to 69, so I need the eminent symbol, and what do I need to make that? I need Taloon, Taloween, Coal, Soluble Loam, and Cobalt Ore. So let's get that coal first. I'll get 10 in case I fail. Then I need Soluble Loam and Cobalt Ore. So there's the Soluble Loam. <laughs> And the cobalt cod. It'd be kind of funny if I try to put fish in there. Like that time that I had roots in one of my trade skill bags that didn't require roots. Now, I know I need the patterns, but I want to make sure I got the right thing. Eminent. Okay. Yeah, see, that's what I forgot. I forgot I need eminent. So I need eminent patterns. I wish they would just give these simpler names honestly they're so complicated so m m symbol pattern so i need the uh the boot pattern the chest pattern the glove pattern the helm pattern the legs pattern the sleeves pattern and that's it that's it i don't need the wrist ones and hopefully we succeed without failure let's make sure i have plenty of water of the skeptic on me yes i do i've got a whole lot of water of the skeptic oh it's i can't put symbol because it's usually like chest symbol wrist symbol blah 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 all that stuff okay such a pain in the butt because then I got to look for skeptic over here. Okay, there it is. So glove symbol of the skeptic succeeded. Then I need helm of the skeptic. There we go. And that failed, of course. Oh, crap. I'm a dummy. I'm such a dummy. I'm sure some of you were like, dude, put on your stupid smithing trophy or you're going to fail. So that's on me. That's on me. So I got that one done. And there's that. It's the sleeve. So you see, even if you have a really high skill, <laughs> you know, it's at 350 here with the trophy, you still have a chance of failure. You could still completely suck. And of course, because I didn't have my trophy, I failed that one. So now I have to get another eminent pattern. So let's see. I managed to make the gloves the boot, the sleeves, the legs, and the chest, so I need the helm. And I'm pretty sure I'll succeed this time because I have the hammer equipped. Helm symbol of the skeptic. There we are. I am glad I bought a little extra um, coal <laughs> because I did, I did have the one failure. So here we are, guys. This is phenomenal. You see what I meant by the armor will have much better stats? It's the symbols that give it the good impressive stats look at that 30 to attack three hit point regen another one has 30 to attack and another three hit point regen so it does get pretty good of course she's gonna lose her sweet style but sometimes you gotta sacrifice fashion over function and i'm still plan on finding monk like exclusively monk armor that might have some of those some of the looks you know that i like like the uh let me let me dismount from the uh the wolf there so yeah because i like the the pants that look like that you know they're a little lower cut to show off the the crazy uh belly button tattoo that she has what's with the arrows it's like yeah look up this way look down this way <laughs> it's like what are you doing? You're a monk. You're not some weird gothic barfly who wants attention. So, but yeah, I like I like the the cool like chest harness thing and all that and the you know, it just looks more fantasy monk as opposed to the just the regular leather. I could be mistaken for a druid, especially when I'm running around with a staff like this. So yeah, I also upgraded my weapon. I have a staff now uh, that's a two-hander. I made myself some uh, some saps and some more fist wraps. So updated versions. So let's get these in here. Let's get these symbols in. And then we'll do the wardrobe change. And you'll see what this looks like. So we got the glove symbol. So we put that in the gloves. As you'll see, it's highlighted in gold to show you exactly where to put it. And we got 
at 30 to attack and the three hit point regen. Then this symbol is the feet. I think this also gives an extra attack and regen. Yep, sweet. And then we have this one for the arms. Gives an extra three hit point regen. Cultural at higher level actually starts to look pretty good. Then we got the chest symbol. Unfortunately, that's just mana regen, which I really don't need. We got the head which gives some more hit point regen i'm down for all this hit point regen you know, mana regen which i don't need for the legs but it goes from a 41 ac you know and then you got 145 hit points uh mana endurance you even get a little bit of heroic stats you get a bunch of saves and again this is for agnostic human monk i don't think a druid would be able to use this at all so it's much better than my old cap 25 ac 140 hit points plus the old one had uh an aug in there like an additional aug so the big disappointment is going to be because a map that changed out this because 14 ac 45 hit points yeah that's just not doing it anymore um now it's 48 ac 139 hit points but don't worry you're like you're gonna give up a 45 to attack no i'm not i'm not i'm only giving up uh 15 out of that attack because i get to yank this out there is a uh, uh, an innate attack of 15 on there but i get to yank out this aug and i get to install it in the new tunic the elaborate tunic wow i can put this aug in slot 12 and then i could still put another aug here i did not realize that that is pretty cool yes i'm gonna put that in slot 12 because that's actually great because then i can still put one over here and make this even better see so now i have the 29 to attack why is it not the perfect 30 it's because this is made for 65 to 69 and i'm only level 66 as soon as i get to 66 you see it'll it'll turn to 30 and the ac on this is actually 50 ac so it is a lot better than what i had so the elaborate boots elaborate pants and elaborate uh sleeves so i have full elaborate now at least so i should be less likely to get smushed and let me see if there's any augs here that i'd really like to save that's a level 40 aug i think i'm just gonna like leave that alone this one's level 45 but it's not really great i you know see what this one has 10 ac 50 hit points see this one might be worth saving what do i need for this x i i i so i might i might save that one i might pull that one out what's the portal scrap 20 ac i might pull that one out too so that's it folks that's it for this video i just wanted to do one making the new armor and yeah i don't have the sweet style anymore but this is okay i gonna keep trying to hunt down more and if you know of monk exclusive armor that has that same look from the other stuff that i had uh let me see what it was called the stone formed leather tunic and the stone formed leather leggings these both had the same exact graphic as like the woos fighting for the monk so if you know of stuff that has that same look but it's for higher levels uh 66 plus let me know i'd love to check it out you know if it's quested i could try to do the quest that could be content that i try to make but if you found this uh video helpful and or informative or at least entertaining give the video a thumbs up if you hated the video for any reason you're welcome to give the video a thumbs down whether you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down i'd love to hear a comment below about what you liked about the video or what you disliked about the video what would you do to make the video better if you like what I do here and you'd like to support me, support the channel, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. You can also join the channel as a channel member, or if YouTube channel memberships are not your thing, consider joining our Patreon. Both YouTube members and Patreon members get a link to join our private Discord server. Finally, if you'd like to help out just one time without any kind of reoccurring payment, consider leaving a super thanks. A super thanks is like a little donation to say thanks for making this helpful video. Finally, I'd like to thank all of our YouTube and Patreon members. Your names are appearing in the screen in front of me now. Thank you very much. You guys are all awesome. You're all superheroes to me. Thank you, and I hope you are really happy that you subscribe. Thank you, everybody, for watching. 
have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow.